today's video I will be doing this Halloween slash fall inspired smoky eye type of thing here. I am absolutely loving this look. To me it just screams fall and Halloween which is my favorite time of the year. Um, give this video a thumbs up if it's also your favorite time of the year. So if you want to know how to get this look then keep on watching. It's been a hot minute guys. How y'all been? Y'all been good? Did y'all miss me? No, you didn't. You don't have to tell me. It's okay, guys. Just kidding. I'll probably didn't even notice I was gone. Okay, for primer. For primer. I'm going to use the NYX Pore Filler Primer all over my face. I am in love with this primer. It mattifies and fills in my pores. Smooth out my face. Kind of in love. Okay, and I'm also going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer, like, around my mouth area because that gets dry and, like, this is more hydrating. So I've been loving my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. Of course, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Cake Concealer in Light Neutral. Okay, so I set my face with my Airstone Translucent Powder. I didn't really think that you don't need to see that because it's pretty simple. I use my e.l.f. Uh, bronzer palette right here. And I'm going to kind of just mix um, all the colors together. Maybe like maybe these right here. Now I'm going to use my Tarte Blush in Party. I'm going to be using um, the NYX Away We Glow uh, Liquid Highlighters. Um, this is in the shade Daytime Halo. I'm really loving these. The only like negative about it is like, okay, when you put it on, Wow, it looks popping. But like when you kind of blend it out, it just 
it's kind of just a sheen of like glowy smoothie. I basically use it to make my highlighter um, last throughout the day and make it even more intense. This really helps it last throughout the whole day. It's just a good base. And when I put it on top of my powder, it does not disturb anything or move anything around. It just sits on top of it. So that is a plus because I hate, I never use like cream highlighters or whatever because it would always move my foundation around. This is a little highlighter. I guess it's a highlighter. It's an all over shadow and highlighter. It does not have a name on it. It's what it looks like. This is by My Looking Glass brand. Alright, I'm gonna go um, do my eyebrows real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so obviously I did this eye off camera because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I did it half again. Love you. Does this not scream fall Halloween? Like now, I'm in love with this look right now. So I'm about to teach you how to do this. Alright, so we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette as usual. This is my favorite palette. I didn't use too many colors because I don't want to make this too complicated. So the first shade we're going to be using is Hunt. So this is going to be a transition color. It's not really a transition color. So if you're going in with a darker shade first, um, go in with light layers and then build it up and make sure each layer is built, um, is blended before you go in with the other one. Just, I like to start in the middle of my crease right here because I want that to be the most pigmented. I do windshield wiper motions, then I do circle motions, and I get out to my outer corner. Okay, so we're gonna like wing it out a little bit. So to do that. I use super light pressure and circle motions when I'm going to wing it out. I kind of just work the color into a wing. I'm going to go like that. Just use super light pressure because you want it to be very tapered. You don't want it to be like a super harsh line over there. Now I'm going to be using Rocks Roxanne right here. Not too much product at first. I always start on the outer corner, blending onto the lid, and then work it into my crease. And then circle motions to blend out the edges, blend those two colors together. And then same with leaning it out, I'm doing very light pressure, circle motions. Well, for Halloween, I'm going to be doing a lot of FX, like, face painting, tutorials for y'all. If y'all have any suggestions, leave it down below. I have, like, a whole list of looks that I've done in the past, and so I want to, like, recreate them and make them even better. And, like, film for y'all that. Film for y'all. So we're going to be going in with Abyss. It's just a black shade. I'm going to be using a tiny blending brush. So I coat my brush like very well. I'm gonna tap off like everything because I want to look like I have black eye. I start off at the outer corner, very light pressure, blending it onto the lid. Kind of doing circle motions, bring it into the crease. Start off with a very tiny amount because black can be hard to work with. So you don't want to look like you have black eye. Do circle motions to blend it out. Bring it out. Other shades. 
Okay, so now we're gonna cut the crease with the Tarte Concealer. Y'all already know the drill with this. I put it on my lid first. Then I start to cut it. Always cut the crease above your natural crease. When you open your eye, you'll be able to see where you cut it. And it'll look better. Especially if you have coated eyes. And for the lid shade, I'm not going to set the concealer because I'm using a loose shadow, so I kind of want it to stick onto the concealer so it doesn't get everywhere. Okay, so for my lid shade, I'm going to be using this NYX pigment. I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to say that, but it's like the number two one. It's super pretty and it's orange. So now, I like to do like a little bit of detail work. I'm gonna go back in with uh, Roxanne and blend this on my lid so there's no harsh lines right there. Now I'm gonna go in with Abyss and do the same thing. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go put on some mascara, liner. I'm just gonna use all three shades again on my lower lash line and some black liner, mascara, all that jazz. Be right back. Okay, guys. So my eyes are done, everything is on, freaking loving it, are you loving it as much as I am? Yeah. For my lips, I'm going to do a nude lip, so I'm going to be using the lip liner in the shade Dusty Rose by My Looking Glass, and then the shade, what is this, Fresh Peach by My Looking Glass. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Don't forget to check out my last video. It will be up at the end of this one. Every product I use today will be in the description box as well as my social media. So go follow me on there too if you want. Sorry if this video is a little long. It was like kind of talking a lot because I haven't done this in a half minute. So, um, so uh, stay tuned for a bunch of Halloween videos coming up. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. So that is everything I have to say and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.